social networks. We all have one. We all work within one. Whether you be the celebrity Kevin Bacon and trying to find how you connect to other celebrities, or if you're a digital humanist interested in the Six Degrees of Francis Bacon project. But in this video, we're not interested in projects. We are interested in DH tools. And the tool we're exploring today is Palladio. Palladio comes out of Stanford, and it came originally out of the prototype tools developed for the mapping of the Republic of Letters project, which I talked about in a previous video. In this video, we're going to be exploring the basics of Palladio, so that over the next few videos, we can look at Palladio and actually use Palladio. Palladio is data-driven. It uses what are known as CSV files, or comma-separated value files. These are basically Excel files that are much smaller and much easier to manage. They have rows and they have com uh, columns. These columns are features, or what Palladio calls dimensions. These dimensions can be anything from a person's birthplace to their name, to their death place, to their birth date. These can be numerical, these can be text-based pieces of data. They can even be what we call booleans or true and false statements. And even more importantly, you can actually include images. Here we're seeing the ability to actually map out a network on a geographical map by adding layers of data to a map of the world. We can also go over to the graph option and actually graph out networks. Now these are not social networks, these are geographical networks. They are places where people are connected to. So it is showing nodes or individuals in a network graph and other nodes, places in a map. You can also separate it and navigate it by changing the dynamics of a network graph by controlling the source and the target. And you can look at the data over time by opening up either the time span or the timeline options down below. Under the table section, you can actually render your data as a normal Excel file data display. And you can customize this display based on whatever dimensions you want to see. Under gallery, you can check out the images associated with your data, should you have any. So why should you care about Palladio? Well, it is an easy to use tool, a DH tool that has a low learning curve that will allow you to add custom data visualization methods to your research. I highly encourage you to stick around, explore the videos that are gonna be coming after this one, where we actually function and play around with Palladio. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe down below.